taught you with frugal tips where it's okay to be a tight wad. Today I wanted to share with you a special trick that I use whenever I go and I travel someplace special. What I do is I like to buy hats, but sometimes the hats are just a little bit too pricey. I first started doing this a few years ago when I took a trip to Florida and I went to the Kennedy Space Center. I saw a hat that I really wanted to get, but it was just a little bit too pricey. It was priced at, I think it was over $20 or it was $25. It was just completely out of my budget. It was more than I wanted to pay. So what I did was the hat had a NASA, a blue NASA patch on it. So what I did instead was I bought just the NASA patch. It was, I think it was $5 for the patch. Once I got home, I went to my local 99 cent store. I found a hat that I liked. I went home, I found some matching thread for the patch, and I just sewed the patch onto the hat. And here it is right here. I love this hat. This is one of my favorite hats. This is the NASA logo here. And I love it. It just took a little bit of time to do the sewing to, to get around the patch. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good fit. And total, I paid uh, maybe $6, maybe $7 with the thread. So I saved quite a bit of money and I got a pretty nice hat. So since doing this with the NASA Kennedy Space Center hat, I've been doing it for every other place that I travel to. I got this hat or this patch actually in Canada in British Columbia and this is actually a, a nifty patch it has an adhesive backing so it's quite easy to just put it on the hat and that's it it's it's done and again I got this hat at the 99 cent store this is another one of my favorite hats this I got this patch I got in Yosemite it's keep bears wild and as you can see this hat has quite a bit of wear and tear I use it often I love it and for the price of the patch and a, a, a dollar hat I got a pretty nifty souvenir and my last hat is this pretty cool it's cool breeze century patch Cynthia gave me this patch I, I love it and then I found this this hat again at the 99 cent store it's this nifty trucker style hat so I love it so what you do is you get a hat, again, any kind of hat that you find at the 99 cent store or some other discount store. And what I do is I just have some of this, uh, a glue stick candy just in case. But it depends again on the kind of patch you use. For example, this patch here doesn't have any kind of an adhesive backing. So what I would do is I put a little bit of this glue stick on the back, just enough to kind of get the corners and maybe a little bit of this middle part here. Once I'm satisfied with the glue, I position it on the hat where I want it and it sticks pretty nicely. And then once you have it in place, you just get your thread and your needle and you sew around the border of the patch. So this patch here, obviously you can see it's white, so it's no problem, I'm sure I have some white thread handy and I just sew it onto the hat. It's as easy as that. And again, if you have an adhesive patch like this patch here, I got this also in Canada. It's similar to this green one that I show you. It's also adhesive. This is just a peel and stick kind of a patch. So you just peel the, the backing off of it and then you just Put it right on here and it's really easy and it sticks pretty well. In fact, I bought this hat for this specific patch. So this is my next patch hat souvenir project that I'm going to be doing. And that's it. It's pretty simple. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You could get a pretty nifty patch that you like. Again, you just go to your 99 cent store or your local dollar store and you can pick up a pretty nifty hat for inexpensive. I hope you enjoyed this frugal tip video. Please post comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear how you save money when you travel or on souvenirs, or maybe you do something like this as well. I'd love to see your photos. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.